Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I want to share with you how to install a uh, deadbolt lock if you don't already have it. Now this is an older wooden door um, on the house and for some reason it doesn't have a deadbolt. It just has a regular door handle lock which is not really that safe. Anybody can really uh, break into it pretty easily if they know how. Now we're going to be installing a deadbolt with the you know matching uh, hand lock and we have to make a hole. It's a very simple process but I wanted to share with you some of you that uh, if they don't know how to do it they can very easily do this themselves. We are going to be taking this this is a door hole maker okay and uh, what it consists of this is a Milwaukee one but you can get a cheaper one let's say a Ryobi as you can see this squeezes in and you can turn it when you lock it against the door and when it separates it separates evenly depending how thick your door is. And this is where you're gonna be putting uh, the part of the door handle that actually closes the door, this part right here. So you're gonna be drilling a hole here and a hole here. This is where the door handle is gonna go. Now they make it very easy with these kits. Otherwise, if you're doing it without this kit, it's probably not worth it because these kits are so cheap. This was only 29 bucks. You can get them as cheap as $15 from a hardware store. And this one also has the option of making the door uh, longer, uh, you know, uh, further away from the uh, door jam or shorter, depending which one you choose. Now, usually the standard so far that I noticed is the closer one, but let's just get started. You're going to be taking your uh, hole maker and you're going to be putting it over the door approximately where you want it. Um, now you can use this for both holes, the handle and the deadbolt, doesn't matter, same hole. And then you twist it to lock it and squeeze it in. Now, each one uh, unit that you're going to buy differently the way you clamp it, but they're all going to be pretty much centering the hole of the door automatically because each door is um, thinner or thicker. So now after you do that, the kit comes with the small hole maker, which goes here, and the big door hole maker, which goes right there. Now, usually I used to start off making the big one first and then doing the small one. But in that case, what happens is the wood gets stuck in here. Well, the wood gets stuck in both of them if I did it the other way. But this time, when I drill it here, like I, I already pre-drilled this one, so when you pre-drill it, now the wood didn't get stuck yet because I did it, it didn't break off. So what's nice is I have one less bit to carve out because what happens after you drill it, the wood is in there and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it out. So. Um, I start with this because it's a little easier, but it really doesn't matter which way you do it. You could start the other way too. Now, after I'm done, I'm gonna leave this on, change the bit. That's it, that's all you do. And then you just drill away. You put it in the hole, you center it nice and straight, and start drilling. And after that, you don't really need this anymore because you don't want to scrape it up anymore. You could take it off or you could leave it. I take it off, that's just a preference. And then you start drilling. As you can see, this is what would have got stuck in that first drill, but now it just popped out. So I'm saving one step of pulling the block out. Now when you come to the end of this, you want to go really slow because you don't want to push it through too hard. Otherwise you can break some of the wood. You don't want to have a problem with that. So um, you want it to be a nice smooth cut. So when you get to the end, start cutting it slower. I wiggle it back and forth sometimes just to make sure um, in a circular motion, just so it's kind of getting a better cut, a slower cut without pushing it. Before I finish, I can also show you another way to do it to make sure you get a clean cut on both sides. You flip the door open, you have a nice little hole here to uh, center where your hole is going to be. And then you start coming from the other side. There you go. That's what happens. Now it's nice and clean here. Which it doesn't really matter too much since the door handle is a little bigger. If you go almost three quarters of the way, from one side and then flip it to the other side just to finish it off since you have a hole already, it doesn't actually get stuck in here. Otherwise, you have this port right here that you can just take a screwdriver and keep on jamming it to pop this out, which is kind of annoying. But that's how you um, install this. Now this one, 
uh, it's damaged a little bit. We're just gonna putty it up with Bondo. And I showed you a video on how to fix a door before. If you didn't see it and you are interested, how to fix uh, wooden doors if they're damaged instead of replacing them, you can check those videos out. So yeah, thanks again for watching and see you next time.